In today's video, I'd like to talk about the five Reiki principles and their different translations and meanings. Most of the time, Reiki masters here in North America don't make the effort to elaborate on them in detail and reflect on the healing power and deeper meaning they have when incorporated into our daily lives. I remember learning the five Reiki principles like this. Just for today, I will not worry. I will not be angry. I will be grateful. And I will do my work honestly. And I will be kind to every living being. Considering that our subconscious does not understand negations, this cannot be the right translation. However, before we dive deeper into this topic, let me quickly introduce myself. Hi, I'm Monica, your trauma transformation coach, helping you to find that complete sense of ease, inner peace, joy, love and fulfillment that cannot be overcome by any circumstances around you. If you want to clear your mind, let go of limiting beliefs and heal life's traumas, let me give you the tools and techniques you need in order to transform your life. Envision yourself living your best life with your spirituality deeply anchored in your heart and a newfound love for connecting to your higher power. You'll have an arsenal of tools to deal with life stresses and anxiety that enables you to thrive in all areas of your life. Make the best investment that you can ever make. An investment in yourself and your well-being. Why not start right now? Have you ever been aware that in Christian communities and churches, we listen to similar prayers like, Dear God, just for today, help me to always remember that my life is a gift from you and my health a blessing. Help me to gratefully realize that this new day is filled with limitless potential and that I have the capability to bring something fully new unique and helpful into this world. Remind me to be kind and patient to my loved ones and everyone I meet throughout the day. Teach me to see all the beauty that I so often miss and to listen consciously to the silent longing of my own soul. Bless my day and make it a good one, filled with gratitude, joy, peace, and love. Let's see how this prayer compares to Dr. Mikao Usui's five principles and the prayer of the L. Annan family group. Reiki principle number one, just for today, I will not worry, versus I let go of worry. Since our subconscious can't hear words like no and not, I like to teach the students in my Reiki trainings to slightly modify this principle to just for today. I let go of worry and choose to trust. The worry we feel is always triggered by thinking about some future event outside of us. But the event itself wouldn't have had an emotional impact on us if we didn't already have that worry energy already inside us. 
since worry always boils down to fear of the future, fear of something that hasn't happened yet? What if we trusted the universe, a higher power, or you might call it God? We could say, just for today, I trust that everything that is happening in my life is for my greatest good. What if we just knew inside that everything is going to work out just fine? Because, you know, in the end it will. And life is to be understood backward, right? Let's have a look at Reiki principle number two. Just for today, I will not be angry versus I let go of anger. In keeping with our use of language that our subconscious mind gets and understands, let's modify this one as well. How about this? Just for today, I let go of anger. And we could add, I forgive and feel at peace. Anger and resentment all stem from wishing we could change the past or made different decisions or choices. While we can't and know that we give our best at any given moment, all we can do is adjust our present moment and thus change the future. When we let go of wishing the past could be any different, we open ourselves up to the beauty of the present moment and the peace always available to us. Can you recognize that the anger again lives inside of us and that it is not coming from outside of us. The anger we feel was triggered by an event outside of us. But the event wouldn't have had an emotional impact on us if we didn't already have that angry energy within us inside of us, often as self-criticism. So what if today, just for today, we had no past? Our past was a clean slate, just like our future is. How liberating. What if just in this present moment we said, I forgive everyone for everything, most of all myself. All right, let's have a look at Reiki principle number three. Just for today, I will be grateful. Name, visualize and feel grateful for each blessing, person, object, situation in your life. Put your hands on your heart, breathe into it and let your heart expand as you do so. When we are thankful for what is currently in our lives, we attract more good, like attracts like. And feeling grateful changes our energy from one of lack to having. Likewise, if we send a message of gratitude and having into the universe, we will attract more of having and more to be grateful for. Our thoughts are powerful. Let's use them wisely. Lao Tzu once said, watch your thoughts they become your words. Watch your words, they become your actions. 
Watch your actions. They become your habits. Watch your habits. They become your character. Watch your character. It becomes your destiny. All right, let's have a look at Reiki principle number four. Just for today, I will do my work honestly. When we do our work honestly, this brings purpose and meaning into our life. This isn't mainly about being ethical in our work. This principle takes you back to yourself again. It's about being honest with yourself. You can only lie to yourself for so long before it eats away at you. Are you really doing and enjoying what you want to work, do work-wise? Are you really following your calling and working toward your purpose, your real purpose? If not, why not? If you are unclear about your purpose, meditate on which activities you love doing, where you forget about what time it is and where time flies. Maybe try to incorporate more of those activities into your life because Work doesn't just refer to money or success, but to fulfillment and passion. What is it that makes you feel so completely and truly alive you don't think you are working at all? You know, for me, it's coaching and teaching. I'm in a blissful state whenever I can help someone with emotional release and grow into his, her true self. Let's look at Reiki principle number five. Just for today, I will be kind to every living thing or being. I like being more. This principle speaks for itself. What you give out, you receive back tenfold. Besides, it just feels good to send love to everyone you encounter in your day. With this principle, we learn to see the beauty in everyone and how to love unconditionally without any judgment and expectations. And remember, there's perfection in the imperfection. Have compassion for yourself. Give yourself permission to make mistakes. Learn and grow. Learn to not take life too seriously. To laugh about yourself and start again. Compassion and kindness are pretty similar words after all. I like this version of the five principles very much. Just listen. This is the secret art of inviting happiness and the spiritual medicine for all diseases. Just for today. I release angry thoughts and feelings. I release thoughts of worry. I am grateful for my many, many blessings. I practice expanding my consciousness. I'm gentle with all beings, including myself. You know what's very interesting? I once had to go to the L. Annan meeting to write an essay during my psychology studies. 
When I was introduced to the following words, it slipped my tongue and I asked if the founder was a Reiki master. Of course, nobody knew what I was talking about. But here it is, the L. Annan prayer. And it starts with just for today. Just for today, I will try to live through this day only and not tackle all my problems at once. I can do something for 12 hours that would appell me if I felt I had to keep it up for a lifetime. Just for today, I will be happy. This assumes to be true what Abraham Lincoln said, that most folks are as happy as they make up their minds to be. Just for today, I will adjust myself to what is and not try to adjust everything to my own desires. I will take my luck as it comes and fit myself to it. Just for today, I will try to strengthen my mind. I will study. I will learn something useful. I will not be a mental loafer. I will read something that requires effort, thought, and concentration. Just for today, I will exercise my soul in three ways. I will do somebody a good turn and not get found out. If anyone knows of it, it will not count. I will do at least two things I don't want to do, just for exercise. I will not show anyone that my feelings are hurt. They may be hurt, but just for today, I will not show it. Just for today, I will be agreeable. I will look as well as I can, dress becomingly, keep my voice low, be courteous, criticize not one bit. I won't find fault with anything nor try to improve or regulate anybody but myself. The L. Annan family groups, hope for families and friends of alcoholics, just for today. I will have a program. I may not follow it exactly, but I will have it. I will save myself from two pests, hurry and indecision. Just for today, I will have a quiet half hour all by myself and relax. During this half hour, sometime, I will try to get a better perspective of my life. Just for today, I will be unafraid, especially I will not be afraid to notice what is beautiful and to believe that as I give to the world, so the world will give to me. This is the prayer for today. And it's added to the just for today. Um, principles of the L. Annan group. O oh Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. 
where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where it, there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O oh, Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Isn't that beautiful? Please share it. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell as well. And remember, you deserve to break free and live your magic. Now.